I wanted to show you how you can use HTTP Pi to do exactly the same things that we just did using Postman, sending all kinds of requests to the backend. So you can go to httppy.org and then install HTTP Pi. And I believe you can install it with different tools. And I had to go through pip because I have a Windows computer, so I had to install Python and then install pip and then install it. It should be pretty easy for you if you have a Mac or Linux based computer. So make sure you have HTTP Pi. Again, this is totally optional. You don't have to do this. Um, I just think it's really cool to use some command line to send HTTP requests and HTTP Pi is uh, one of the best ones. So I'm gonna open my terminal here. I'm gonna make this a little bigger. And to use HTTP Pi after you have installed it, you just have to do HTTP and then put in the URL for the request. So here, I'm just gonna do HTTP colon double forward slash localhost and our port is 8080 and we want to go to employee slash all okay so this is going to return the list of all the employees for us now in the beginning right after http you can pass in the method uh, which is going to be a get request but by default it assumes that you're making a get request so we don't have we can omit this we don't have to put it in so now if we send that request you can see we have a very nice response in JSON format. Another thing I want to show you is, let me scroll up a little bit. Since this is on our local, we don't actually have to pass in everything before the actual port number. So we can remove all of this and it's going to assume that we're going to make that connection through localhost and port 8080. So if we send that again, you can see we get the same response. So I'm gonna clear this. And the same way, we can also find one employee. So I can remove this and do find, and let's pass four. And just gonna return the employee with ID four. You can see now we have Andy Maxwell. So let's say we wanna add an employee or do, do an update. How would we do that? Well, so let's go ahead and get started. So let's do HTTP, right? And let's do post. Now we have to specify this because by default, it's gonna send a get request. And here we're going to pass in the port because it's going to assume since there is no URL that we're making this request on our own local machine. So I'm going to pass 8080 and this is going to go to employee slash add. Now, how do we pass the data? We can pass the data in many ways, but the, one of the best ways that I like to do this, and you can go through the documentation here. Um, you can go through the documentation. It will show you how to do this. You can go here, you can find it. But one of the best ways is to actually have the data and a file and then point to that file. So before we send that request, I'm gonna go ahead and generate that information. So I'm gonna do touch and I'm gonna create a file called data.json. And remember that information should be in JSON format. I'm gonna create this and then I'm gonna do nano and open data.json. So in here, let's go back to the app. I'm gonna grab employee number three, which is Dave Rogers, which we deleted earlier. I'm gonna copy that and I'm gonna go back and put that information in. So I'm gonna paste it, okay? So now we have the same data in JSON format and I'm gonna exit this and save the changes. Now what I can do is do HTTP. Oh, I'm gonna clear this first. And do HTTP now, and that's gonna be a post request, and it's gonna to go to localhost 8080 slash add, and then I just have to do this and pad data that JSON. So that way, HTTP Pi is gonna look inside of that file and then grab the information. So let's send this and see what happens. And you can see we added this employee with ID5 and Dave Rogers here. So let's say we want to update uh, Christine here. So let me go ahead and clear this and I'm going to open the file again. So data.json and I'm going to delete all of this and paste the information for Christine and close this. Now let's say I want to change the last name. So I'm going to go up and change that last name. I'm going to change this to Jones, okay? And click Control X, save, exit. So let's clear this and do HTTP and then do a put request. And then that's going to go to 8080 slash employee slash update. And then I can do the same thing. I can pass in the data.json. So now it's going to update that information. So let's put enter. As you can see here now, the last name is Jones. So we can do HTTP 
8080 and see if we can get all the employee. So employee slash all. And you can see here the last name Jones. So you might be thinking, oh, I don't need to use this command line interface. Um, you know, I can just use Postman or whatever. Like I mentioned earlier, with the new cloud architectures that we're having right now, and cloud is just a big thing, it's like a buzzword in the tech world. A lot of times when you need to access your computer in the cloud, you're going to be logged in using a command line interface and you will need to access information on the Internet, make requests and things like that. So knowing how to make requests using a command line interface is very important. There is a very famous client that we can use called curl. Curl is like one of the most popular and it's been around for a while, but I just found out about HTTP Pi and I wanted to show you guys. So um, that's how you can, and you can do a lot more with HTTP Pi. Um, if you go to the documentation, you can do pretty much everything you can do in Postman um, in HTTP Pi. So you guys can check it out and let me know what you think and I'll see you guys in the next one.